Well, a story we're going to start off with today is in 2 Samuel, and it's chapter 23. And David is in this place called the Cave of Adullam. And he has, he has collected about 400 men with him. And there's 30 that are really sitting with him in this cave right now at this point. And last week, we talked about one of the men that were with him. And his name is Shama. How many of you remember Shama? And Shama stood in the midst of the, the lintel patch and fought for something that everybody else was running from. Right. And everybody was willing to let go. There's another gentleman. There's another, there's another story that follows the Shama story where David's in the, in the cave and, and all of a sudden he allows out of his mouth this statement. Oh, I'm longing to drink from the well of Bethlehem. Now there's a longing that came out of his mouth. And it's interesting. You have to see this because the longing just kind of comes out of his mouth. He's in this cave. They probably had water in the cave, but not the water of Bethlehem. There is a certain kind of pH level in Bethlehem. How do you know that? Because the Bible tells me in, the, in John that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and he is the living water. So Bethlehem has this, this kind of relationship with water that the best water always comes from Bethlehem. And so he's longing as a king of the, of the territory of the region to have water from that. Now, I believe that as a king that has a, an anointing for Bethlehem, but can't go to Bethlehem because it's controlled by the Philistines. He's not only longing for the water, but he's also longing for the day that he has possession of the well. And as I started to meditate on this and study this, I thought about this idea that he's longing. Someone say longing. As he's longing for the water that is behind the enemy lines. There's something about a leader. A leader has this ability to long for something. And it's not really their longing. There's not, it's not really their longing. It's a longing that comes from a deep place. We often read something that David said or as David was singing, and it's there a prophecy about the Messiah. And often David's writings are not him, even though he's writing it, but it's not him. It's a bigger longing than himself. It's a bigger craving than himself. And I believe that David was tapped into something right now, and he may be longing, but the Bible says, I give you the desires of your heart. And you may have something coming out of your mouth that's a longing that sounds like it's here to satisfy you. But the realization is you are longing for something that wasn't, there's no reason for you to long for it. You have water right in front of you. And as I read this and as I studied this, there's a statement that just kept jumping out at me. The best water is behind the enemy lines. The best water to drink from is water that you don't have access to right now. The best water to drink from is behind the gates of the enemy. The best water to drink is not the one that's flowing right here in the house of God or in your cave of Adullam. The best water to drink from is where the enemy is. And there should be a longing in every leader that says, oh, if I get this drink of the water, that's over there. Over there. 